the map had developed an unusual independence. Lily thought it was behaving very badly. Lily arrived just in time to see the flying topography tool disappear through a grilled window. That must be the police car. When Lily was exhausted, she thought of things that no one could take away from her. Bones. The bar suggested that this was a lion cage. Officer was trembling all over. And it wasn't even that cold in here. Uh, what? What? Oh, oh, just a little girl. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Aren't you worried that the loonies will catch you? Uh -uh. Well, you should be. So hurry, get back to bed. Or did you want to make a complaint? Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Uh-huh. You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh-huh. Ha-ha! <laughs> Police! What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? Children your age can't even be charged with a crime. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. But I'm sure a girl who looks as well-behaved as you already knows to stay away from alcohol, right? Uh-huh. You see? Of course, if you insist, you can take a voluntary alcohol test anyway. The machine is over there, against the wall. But I can't arrest you if you haven't gone and drunk nothing. <sighs> you again? Do you want to make another complaint? Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Uh. You don't mean Dr. Marcel, do you? Uh-huh. Shh! Keep it down. The doctor is a very influential man. We all know he's got a few things to answer for. But you still have to be very careful with accusations like that. Unless you have evidence, I really can't help you. Valozak Direct. Mother Superior had used the same Valium pills the previous year, but Morphodinol Acute gave better results. The wine gums looked tasty. Lily took that as a sign that she wasn't allowed any. Lily liked everything that was colorful. Flowers, butterflies, and bruises she got from behaving badly. Lily liked everything. Flower. <sighs> the map lay out of reach. Flounder to go. How convenient. To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. 
Lily liked everything that was colorful. Flowers. <laughs> Lily had never seen a bartender before, but she was pretty sure that they didn't usually wear nightgowns. Oh, what do we have here? A little girl without parents, all alone in the night. How sweet. What brings you into this dark dive where no one can hear you scream? Alcohol. I can't serve children alcohol. I'm missing the recipe for the only alcoholic cocktail on the menu. The Volcano Berserker. Plus, I ran out of the ingredients. So, if you want a drink, you'll have to get me the right ingredients. And then, the drinks will be free. Here, the menu. Have you got all the ingredients? Uh-uh. No? Then I can't help you, sweetie. <laughs> Lily had also received a box like this after her father had been lost at sea. It probably took the Association for the Relief of Dead Seafarers a long time to collect this. <laughs> The girl seemed friendly. Um, what? I wait. No. This isn't Aunt Gorgula. My name is Miranya. Miranya the medium. How many more times do I have to tell you? What? But that's one moment. Please stay on the line. Sorry, little girl. This could take a moment. It's that bartender Max Mixo again. A real pain in the ass. So dead and yet so talkative. Come to think of it, the spirits are very unsettled today. They're all talking over each other. If only I had earplugs. What was that? Now listen to me, my dear lady. I'm not a greeting card courier. I'm sure that... Max Mixo, would you please shut up for a moment? Because there are others who... Who? No, I don't know anyone called Priscilla. Maranya was busy. Lily could completely understand that. She knew how hard it was to ignore spirits. Especially those that tried to grab you at night. The girl seemed friendly. But that's what I'm telling you. Your grave is well cared for and all the flowers have been watered. If only I had earplugs. Hmm? What? Oh. Hi, little girl. What do you have there? Are those earplugs? Fabulous! Thank you! It's exactly what I need right now. Hmm. No, these are too big. So, hello? Can anyone hear me? Ah, much better. Yes, loud and clear. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? I could have guessed that. Could you possibly do me another favor? Uh-huh. It's about Max Mixo, the previous bartender at the village bar. He's worried about his legacy, the volcano berserker. He'd always hoped that this drink would make him immortal someday. We both know that his plan failed, but now he literally took the recipe to his grave, and he so wanted to leave it to posterity. It's very simple. The cocktail only has three ingredients, wine gum, artemisia, and a chili pepper. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. Maybe the great Max Mixo can finally find peace. And me, too.
If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Lily liked everything that was colorful. Flowers, butterflies, and... Coming right up. Oh, by the way, that's a non-alcoholic cocktail. But don't worry, there's enough other illegal substances in it. The path that Garrett had taken led Lily to a small bridge over one of the brackish creeks running off from Moore Lake. Two trustworthy looking men in white lab coats were working there. Lily wasn't quite sure what to make of them. She also recognized Garrett in the bushes on the other shoreline. Apparently, he didn't want to be seen by the two men. And although the two nocturnal workers had made a friendly impression on Lily, she decided to follow the youth investigator's lead. And, have you found anything yet? Do you have to keep asking that? I'll let you know if I discover something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think Dr. Marcel's madness is starting to rub off on me. Ever since we found this stuffed rabbit by the lake, he's been obsessed. We should be taking care of patients instead of poking around the moor. And then there's that absurd plan with the hypnosis doll. Stop already, and keep looking. Have you actually found anything yet? Well... Lily had heard enough. Apparently, the men in white were Dr. Marcel's minions. It appeared that Edna's concern had been justified. Dr. Marcel really was looking for her. It was now more important than ever to find Edna's hiding place. There was a sign on the feeding trough. Don't feed the saber-toothed boars. Saber-toothed boars are very dangerous. In the event of an encounter, make sure you don't look like a well-behaved convent schoolgirl. Saber-toothed boars are nocturnal, grow up to six feet long, and like to lurk in the shadows. They can be frequently found near the territorial herb Artemisia, since they mark their territory on the leaves of this plant. Therefore, avoid areas where this herb grows after dark. The Forest Ranger. Lily would have gladly heeded the warning, but she had no idea how to recognize Artemisia. There was a sign on the feeding. Don't feed save and they say they therefore the for Lily would have gladly, but she had no. Didn't you read the sign? You're not supposed to feed the boars. The forest ranger said so. You must not contradict adults. But luckily, you know that yourself. If the saber-toothed boars had to mark their territory, then they should do it properly. Excellent! The saber-toothed boars had had some neon drinks and marked their territory, so this had to be their territorial herb Artemisia.
A volcano berserker coming right up. But be careful, that drink packs a punch. And I'm not talking about punchy colada if you catch my drift. Volcano berserker, it hits you with a flaming punch. But Lily, what's that for? That's not good for little children. You must not touch alcohol. And milk is much better for your teeth anyway. <laughs> Look at my funny chompers. They're cute, aren't they? Uh-huh. Woo! The ball of wool! Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Look, the ugly girl wants to play too. Then she has to place her bet. She can't play without a bet. Meow. Dogs playing poker. Nothing earth shattering. Those were Cuban cigars. These dogs were playing poker in style. Hey, those are only for players. I'm a dog. Lily had heard that Manny spoiled quickly in the sun. The coffee was black, just like the chasm Lily saw when she closed her eyes. Lily wasn't sure if someone as young as her should drink coffee, but there was no behavioral block, so it was probably okay. Incredible. The coffee was so strong that it jarred Lily out of her trance. But Lily, what's that? That's not you must not and milk. <laughs> They're cute. Uh-huh. Someone had forgotten to suck on their ice cubes. What a waste. Lily had heard that Manny spoiled. She would have to use it soon. It made her feel a little nauseous just thinking about it. The cash cow didn't want to trample or devour Lily. It was simply ignoring her. Um. Um. Howdy, stranger. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait. You're not here for the gold rush too, are you? Well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. Oh. I knew it! You're after my gold! Well, you can just forget it. My gold mine is good and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. Lily wasn't interested in the mine, but this Wendigo made her curious. Could he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Perhaps it would be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. Well, forget it. The way to my mine is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Hmm. I should actually ride over there again. We... You don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I don't know much myself. 
It's some kind of Indian demon that's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around here somewhere. Sure. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about Wendigos, it's him. The door was firmly locked. Too bad. The gnome made a trustworthy impression. Step right up, step right up, and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. A brand new product, the pill for in-between for all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up. Marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix, the exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Uh huh. Hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me, and I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with your ears. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't give you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. Lily seemed to be surrounded by strange birds today. How sweet. Meep. Yeah, yeah. Right the back at you. Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were you? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, well. No problem, eh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I have a salad and no engine. I know all that. But what can I do, eh? I just love that rotten stuff. I just have to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move right in. You could get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils, oozing eczema. Oh, man. All this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, leave me alone with my growling belly. Somewhere on the horizon, a donut factory seemed to be having problems with its chimney. A sign informed Lily that this reconstruction of an original Indian sundial had been donated by the Association of Experimental Art. It was possible to turn the pedestal. Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <laughs> Step right up! 
Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. A brand new product, the pill for, for all those. Step right and take a f It tastes so. No, don't bother coming any closer. Not unless you've picked up a contagious disease since I last saw you. Uh-huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Why, hello! What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations! This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, you almost look overqualified. Your rash is so severe, I'm not sure even Alcofix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. You must not touch alcohol. Huh? Had that bottle just talked? The color of the bottle... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Are you... Completely nuts? You could easily get sick and cold, which does which doesn't mean that I'm sick, and I don't need this this alcoholic devil stuff either. Oh, thanks. Ugh, what's that? Quick, the medicine. So yum, finally. Tasty. So nice, so nice. <gasps> the genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. What? What you doing? Oh no! 